It is the 5th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to go ahead and start tonight on Scott.net. Mud rivers, flash floods, wreak havoc on Italy's western coast, leaving six people dead. Torrential rains lashed Genoa and Italy's western coastline again Friday, triggering flash floods that killed at least six people as raging water uprooted trees, swept cars, and furniture through the streets. <coughs> Excuse me. Sea boils near El Hero. Submarine volcanic activity continues off of El Hero Island. And uh, this continues. They got a, a nice video uh, out where you can actually see the jacuzzi effect uh, in the ocean. And uh, again, they're expecting any time with El Hero. Fracking linked to earthquakes in the U.S. On the heels of yesterday's report dealing detailing Quadrilla Resources Administration that their fracking practices were responsible for small earthquakes in the UK. New reports surfacing that a link that a link frack, fracking to earthquakes that occurred in January in Oklahoma, according to a new study by the Oklahoma Geological Survey. Fracking is linked to 50 mini earthquakes that occurred in January 18, 2011 in Oklahoma. And I do remember that. We called it if I remember right. Probability of powerful quake rises for New Zealand city. Now again, this is Christchurch. Scientists warned on Friday that an increased probability that another powerful earthquake that will hit the earthquake-stricken New Zealand city of Christchurch in the next year. Uh, definitely they were saying they found new fault lines and that, that whole ground is unstable where they built the city on. 1,200 trekkers stranded at Mount Everest as severe weather grounds flights. And uh, that's not an uncommon thing in the in um, Mount Everest. Over to the extinction protocol. Fukushima reactor dangers continue seven months after devastating tsunami and quake. And again, this is uh, the, the, the chain reaction um, where... Uh, Extinction Protocol is catching up where I, I've been reporting the last couple days on the Fukushima um, meltdown and they're finding these gases. G20 talks fail to reach consensus as global debt time bomb ticks all according to plan. And let's see what else new they have. Over to the Ice Age now. Uh, they've got a story. This is how ice ages begin. Record snowfall in the spring, record snowfall in the autumn, skiing on the 4th of July, and glaciers growing in the Rockies. 16 more inches of snow for Colorado. Another fast-moving cold Pacific storm will track across eastern Utah and western Colorado tonight and Saturday. Up to a foot of snow for the Sierra. Another round of snow for the Sierra, California, and Nevada. And a third of Irish elderly must choose between eating and heating. Of the shocking level of fuel poverty, particularly among North Ireland's most vulnerable, has been laid bare in a new report. And finally tonight, uh, we'll get to the radiation stuff, energy news. Occupy movement hits Japan. There are women camping in front of a government building in Tokyo uh, calling for an end to nuclear power. Uh, the big story today, disposal of quake debris begins in Tokyo to be burned in Koto. Radiation fears among residents and myself uh, will continue for years. Over one billion pounds of debris. And you got to remember, um, they're taking the tsunami radiated damage all over Japan and they are burning it and they're releasing this radiation into the air because it's acceptable levels. TEPCO, possible radioactive iodine was gas sample collected at radio number two inlet filter and that would say that was happening within days or hours. Nowhere is safe. Cesium levels in Yokohama mushrooms reached about 3,000 uh, becquerels, kilograms, already eaten by hundreds of children under 12. 
250 kilometers from the meltdown. And uh, I remember reading from the Chernobyl stuff that uh, uh, mushrooms do accumulate a high level of the radiation. So uh, that's about it I have for you today. Um, enjoy what you can. Thanks for all your support, everybody.